President Maduro conveniently perhaps lays the blame for most Gabriel. of the problems in his country, in Venezuela, even the ones he's clearly caused himself, he lays the blame at the door of the imperialist United States. The OAS is based in the U.S., in Washington, D.C. Its chief funder is the U.S. By taking such a strong anti-Maduro stance and attacking him personally, haven't you helped confirm his anti-U.S. narrative? You've basically cast yourself as the perfect villain for him. The problem is that this is, these are not personal attacks, and this is not a problem of wording. This is a problem of how the institutions in Venezuela work. And I bring in back the case to where it, this case of Venezuela has seen a complete deterioration, institutional, political, social, economically, and financial, and bringing all this unrest for the people. We could have done the recall referendum, as we asked last year, we wouldn't have this problem that we are having now. So our Solutions are always constitutional, are always institutional, and we face the With respect, that wasn't my question. My question was, haven't you handed him a weapon with which to beat you by coming across in that way? You, you, you're, play, you're basically playing a perfect role for him. He loves the idea of pointing the OAS and saying you're all foreign medalists, CIA yeah, agents. Yeah, but that is not right. Okay. And that is not right. What we are doing is just working how okay. the institutions should be in Venezuela. And that nobody will make me silent yeah. because it makes me partner of the United States. I don't think or so. against no one's asking me States. silent, but I think over this interview yeah. we've talked about your language. Uh, the fact is, the US does have a long history of meddling uh, in Venezuelan politics, from its support for the attempted coup against President Chavez in 2002 to what many would call its continued funding of opposition groups and organizations. Would you condemn this meddling uh, by the US in the internal politics of one of your OAS member states? You know, Venezuela was the first country to activate the Inter-American Democratic Charter. That was done by President Chavez in 2002. So this respect to the Inter-American Democratic Charter and to the institutions has always been the case. What do we want? We want this case to be resolved. We don't know where, under which basis, or in a multilateral forum. Are we defenders of multilateralism or not? This is not a problem of language. Language here is not the problem. Wouldn't the problem is how the institutions in okay. Venezuela work. Fair enough. But wouldn't it help your case if you were willing to condemn the US meddling in Venezuela over the years? Wouldn't that help your case? It would okay. give you a much more credible position? I have done I haven't heard that. you condemn the US I have in, involvement done in Venezuela. As long as I, I, it was necessary to be done. Today, I don't see this interference.